crafters don't mind me just dodging up my nails ready for the video after seeing the state of my nails by the end of the last video whew, they were trashed so I'm just gonna do a quick dodge job before we get started Ooh, I think I should probably clean my work surface a little bit better too today we are going to do a kit review this kit review that I'm doing I actually saw nerdy crafter review it she didn't really rate it by the way, love Nerdy Craft. If you don't know who she is, I'm sure you do, but go check her out. The kit review she did was the Gemex. The reason she didn't rate it, I believe, is because she discovered that the kit had UV resin in it, right? Which, not really suitable for kits. The Gemex kit is sold with the intention of it being for children. Um, but I believe the stuff itself actually works. I think in the kit she did, the UV light that they provided was busted, didn't work. So that's not really good. Hopefully <laughs> the kit that I've got, the light's gonna work. But the reason I wanted to have a go and the reason my ears pricked up when she did the kit review is because I want to have a go at UV resin, but I don't want to go buying all the materials and then find that, oh, I don't like it or whatever. So I thought this kit would actually be a really good taste tester. Well, not gonna, I'm not gonna taste it, but it'll be, a, a good, you know, dip my finger into the world of UV resin art, give it a go. Then if I don't like it, I haven't wasted too much money. Plus UV resin where I live, I mean, I live in a city and there's only one shop who sells a little bit of UV resin stuff. I'm gonna have to order it online and have to wait for it, pay for shipping, blah, blah, blah. So thought, give this kid a go, let you guys see how I go with it, take you on the journey with me if I really like it then I'll invest some more time and money into getting into UV resin. If it's a bit of a meh, then I can know that I haven't wasted too much money. Let's get onto it. Here's the Gemex kit that I chose. For some reason I went for the unicorn accessory pack. Can't say I'm really big on unicorns. I don't mind them. Why did I choose this one? I think it was just the one that seemed the best out of all of them. How about we just open it up and see what's in there? I'll check them out in a bit. Not quite sure what that's for. Guess I'll find out. A little silicon mold. Get the unicorn. Some wings. This is actually what I really liked with these wings. I thought these were super cool. Star, part, shooting star, gem, rainbow, and a bigger star. UV light. Here's the Gemex gel. Don't forget 25 grams of that. Ooh, look at that. Nice glitter. Sparkly. Some more sparkly glitter, but in blue. I've got to say, I like the colour. Really like the colour. Some sprinkles. More glitter. Moons and stars and circles. This little dooley dacky. Just had a quick look at the box because I wasn't sure what these things are called. Um, apparently they're called bezels and I think I figured out what this is for. I think it's bezel tape Maybe or maybe that's bezel tape. I don't know. We'll find out. We've got a unicorn and a shooting star. We've got a bracelet. I wonder if the, ooh, the clasp is not flimsy at all. It's got a good spring in there. Fastening things. Can make some hair clips. All right, time for me to read the instructions and find out what I'm supposed to be doing. Supervision of an adult at all times, or ventilated area. I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and put all my glitters into the containers, because what I don't use, I definitely wanna keep. Job done. And I've decided I can't take this mess on my work surface anymore, so I'm gonna give it clean. Good old gumption. Made in Australia. Works brilliant. I've had a little read of the instructions. Maybe I read all the warnings. Maybe I didn't. Let's just hope for the best. I'm going to make gems using the mould first. I've put the batteries in the torch. That was a bit of an experience, but it's working, which is good news for me. The instructions say to fill it right to the very brim and that's to avoid ew mm. it's not right here haha <laughs> take two 
it says to fill it right to the very brim to avoid sharp edges. So I'm going to try my best to do that. And then we're going to add some of this. Okay, let's get the UV light on this. It reckons three to five minutes directly on it. So there we go. And now we wait. We're at the three minute mark. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a test by stabbing it with my tool. <laughs> that sounded really gross. Um, by pokey, no. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Ooh, I think it's hard. It's firm, it's, ah, still sounds dirty. Okay, it's set. How's that? that that's better. It's set and it's not sticky. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's see if I can unmold it. I'm scared that the backside's gonna be sticky. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my husband's been a very bad influence on me over the years. extra little bitty bits so um, I'm just gonna get some coming off the scissors. Should I have some sandpaper? Maybe that's blue. No, actually do you know what? These first two I'm gonna stop using stuff that I didn't get given because we're testing out the kit as is. Pretty rough but um hey it's my first go. Shall we do another one? Yes, we shall. Look at that! It's a little star. I think I need to be a little bit more careful in trying to get all that glitter because they're quite big chunks and I kind of wanted them in the points of the star but oh well it's all learning let's swap this horror this and we're gonna make a bezel so apparently I've got to peel this lay that there done. Now the recommended time with the UV light is three to five minutes. I have not had to go over three minutes at all. So. Look at that! I did it! Aren't I a clever girl? Not really. Seems the kit's for six plus but you know how it turned out. Looks cool. Now I'm going to port one of these little charms that I made from the kit onto a little hair clip. It says to attach it, I just put a little bit of resin on the clip, like so. Place that on there. Back with the light. Yep. It seems to be on there. I don't know how strong it's going to be. Usually a good tester is to open the clip. Cute. 
Okay, so I've tested the kit as is. Now I want to test it out doing some other things. What I want to do is test out these manky old, and these are really old, they've had a hard life, eyeshadows. If you haven't got pigment, like the powder pigment, you can use eyeshadow. You just sort of, what is the word I'm looking for? Mulch it up? Munch it up? Why can I not think of the word? So I'm going to give it a go anyway. Try and make some pigment. No idea what I'm doing. We're experimenting. Oh dear. That doesn't look good. I think I might be the first person to make UV resin in the colour of iridescent poop. Okay, I've got some glitter here. I'm going to try and put that in there and see what that does. turn out too bad not perfect <laughs> by any means but it's a bit shimmery I think if I had pigment powder it would definitely look a lot better the eyeshadow works but only to a certain extent I really like that black I'm not normally a black person I don't mind wearing black <gasps> look at that that's kind of cool didn't kind of didn't <laughs> didn't turn out how I thought I think maybe it would be better if I mix the black glitter in with the pink. But anyway, there's a pair of wings. What should I do now? Let's do a star. as shiny like the, the surface isn't glossy let's just see if we can compare it to yeah seems glossier but when I've added the pigment it's stopped being glossy I don't know total newbie let's experiment some more I want to keep going with those wings end looks terrible <laughs> the front end looks pretty good dark angels wings ravens wings here's what I made with my little bits of eyeshadow and my own glitter got some different little wings happening bit of a rosy goldy type wing pink wing for the black back don't like that really nice little gold star and some dark wings all right, I need to have a really good clean up. Things are looking a little bit messy over here. You can see all my stuff in the background. Yeah, definitely time for a clean up and then I'll come back and give you the final verdict on this kit. So my final verdict on this kit, um, I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but the kit cost me $26 and that was from Big W in Australia. My verdict on this, as long as you follow the cautions and the warnings on the packet, when kids are using it, has the adult supervision. I actually kind of rate it for an introduction into the UV resin world. 
it's given me a bit of an idea, a bit of a flavour of it. I've obviously very inexperienced, so those that actually do UV resin and then do this would probably say absolute rubbish. Um, I'm sure I could have done it a lot better. All you experts out there, if you're watching me, you've probably seen me do a million and one things wrong, but hey, I'm trying to learn. And I'm, I don't know, it was kind of cool. So yeah, I'm, to me, it's, it's kind of worth it.